If you're a nursing student, you know firsthand that there is a ton of writing in nursing school. You may have heard your professors talk about scholarly writing, but what on earth does that mean? What is scholarly writing? You've got to stay locked into this series of videos where I get you familiar with what scholarly writing is and how to develop your scholarly writing skills for nursing school. By the end of this series, you'll know exactly what it means to be a scholarly writer and you'll have a few tips and strategies to get you started. Stick around. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Just B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button now, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. First things first, if you have no clue what scholarly writing is, let me take a few minutes and break it down into some bite-sized pieces. Here are three things I want you to remember. To keep it simple, scholarly writing is a way that we communicate with other professionals. So typically, we're used to speaking and writing and texting in an informal way. We use everyday terms, text abbreviations, slang, and even emojis to express ourselves. Am I right? Unfortunately, this way of communication is not considered scholarly. Scholarly writing is a form of communication where you present your ideas clearly, succinctly, and accurately while incorporating your own thoughts and analysis about an issue. It's a professional way of communicating to others where you can express your opinions, your ideas in a clear and organized way. It's also so important to keep in mind that scholarly writing includes both what is written, so the content, and how it's written, the presentation. So imagine you read your textbook and there were no chapter titles or headers or page numbers or even paragraphs for that matter. It was simply a book filled with pages and pages and pages of important information on how to be a nurse. Now, even though the content is important for students to know, how it's presented to the target audience, in that case yourselves, is just as important. So in scholarly writing, it's not only about what you write, but how that writing is presented and organized for the target audience. Whenever you're writing, keep your audience in mind and ensure that you're presenting your content in a familiar and acceptable way. The third thing I want you to remember is content is supported by evidence. In other words, can you back up what you're saying with research or literature or any evidence? When you're writing a scholarly paper, it's more than just sharing your ideas and opinions in a professional way. Your content or what you're saying about a topic needs to be credible, which means that you should always include information and research that can back you up and support your ideas. Now, as students, you also need to understand that throughout your program, you will be asked to do several types of scholarly writing. I'm sure some of your courses, you're required to write a reflection or a discussion paper or a literature review or some form of scholarly writing assignment. So when you're starting out in first or second year, you might be asked to simply describe or summarize something in your assignment. This would involve highlighting key points without including any critique or evaluation or personal opinion. Examples of this might be a reflection assignment that requires you to describe what happened and think deeply about that experience or event. Now, as you progress through the program in your third or fourth year of nursing school, the assignments become a little more challenging where you might be asked to critique something or provide a detailed synthesis or evaluation to convince the reader that you're right. Now, often this type of writing would be included in an assignment such as an editorial or a critical analysis paper 
or even a nursing care plan where you need to analyze your assessment findings and create a plan to address the client's healthcare needs. So here's a tip for you. If you're not sure which type of scholarly writing your assignment requires, go back to your assignment instructions or your assignment guidelines and take a look at some of the wording that is used by your instructor. Is your instructor asking you to analyze, persuade, describe, critique, evaluate, reflect? Once you know what type of writing style to use, then you'll have a better idea of what information to gather and how to present that information to the reader. So now you have a better idea of what scholarly writing is. I think you're ready to start your journey as a scholarly writer. I've got tips for you, so don't worry. Check out my other videos next and learn how to develop your scholarly writing skills and ace those scholarly assignments. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>